I thought today I'd talk about this stick, the one that's got the Cornwall plaque on it and the little thumb bit at the top. Yes, I thought today I'd talk about this stick because it's quite special to me. It was made by my dad back in about 1981, 82, something like that, uh, maybe a couple of years later, but he was always making walking sticks. He'd find a nice stick when he was out walking his dogs and uh, he'd take it home and start whittling it or doing things to it and uh, next thing you know he had another walking stick and he didn't need a walking stick rather like me it's more what you call a countryman's stick it's one that you use for things like knocking down fruit or keeping a particularly annoying dog at bay that sort of thing and of course it gives you an extra little bit of balance because what you've actually got is three legs instead of two and it certainly kept me upright when there's been a lot of slippery mud about or uh, there's been a bit of ice. You can also use it to gauge the depths of puddles, all sorts of things really. It's, uh, it's a very useful thing and I don't actually feel right going out without it because it, it feels like I should have it in my hand. I do have one photograph here of my dad with this stick in his hand um, and apparently doing something unspeakable to a crow. I think it was either a chick he'd found on the ground, a fledgling that had fallen out of the nest, or it was a dead one, I don't know. And he's obviously being very kind, really, because he was a lovely man. And, um, yeah, and that's exactly the same sticks I've got here. I think it's made of sycamore, because the bark patterns... It's kind of hard to tell, because he stained it, and uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's sycamore. And, in fact, I know where there's a young sycamore near here, uh, where we can go and compare the bark patterns. There, I think you can see that that's actually pretty similar. That's pretty similar. So I'm pretty sure it is sycamore. Plus, of course, I grew up in Cornwall, and uh, certainly around the parts of Cornwall I grew up in, sycamore is pretty much the most common tree. In fact, the sycamore even plays a major part in the festivities of my hometown, Helston in Cornwall because on Flora Day, on May the 8th, when everyone dances through the streets and celebrates the arrival of spring, um, the day starts with a thing called the Hallen Tower, which is a kind of mumming play. And uh, the people who walk along with the mummers, with the actors and the players playing the dragon and St. George and the devil and St. Michael and St. Pyrrhon and all these other characters, um, the people who come along and, and sing the song with them all shake branches of sycamore, um, which they've gone into the woods to get. So uh, yeah, the sycamore represents the green, it represents the, the wild wood and the return of spring, which is a lovely thing. I also like the fact there's a kind of family continuity, almost like an heirloom, and the fact that Dad's stick goes out for a walk for me. I don't have much of his really. Um, I've got all the walking sticks he made. He did make quite a few and I've got them all at home. We lost Dad in 1991 when he was only 51 years old which was a bit of a shock, no one expected it. He had a heart condition no one knew about. And it's kind of nice to have this stick in my hand because as long as I do, there's a little bit of dad going on the walks with me. And I think he'd, uh, he'd definitely approve. <laughs>